This design is constructed based on the features of several style 2D animal heads in line with the typical characteristics of the style. Thus, it exemplifies some of the most essential characteristics of style 2D. Style 2D beast heads in profile are slender with a large round or oval eye. They have a horse head like profile with pronounced front teeth, creating an oval open space between the two jaws and the front teeth. Lobe shaped neck tendrils or ears usually protrude from the back top of the eye. The front teeth are a characteristic feature unique to the star. In the larger, more detailed versions, it seems like the jaws are made up of two animal legs with the paws and claws comprising the teeth. Transverse ribbon cuffs articulate the wrists. This ambiguous image element adds to the sense that the animal head includes multiple levels of animal bodies. The neck lobe usually follows the inside contour of the animal's neck, but in some cases a few lobes protrude perpendicularly like ears instead. Ornamental patterns filling in the body parts of larger beasts and beast heads are usually comprised of lesser ribbon animals. A particular feature is the ribbon animal often found inside the mouth of a beast head like this. It's characteristic of the previous style 2C, but carries into the Viking Age as well, and is even a feature of the much later Yelling style. Also particular for style 2D and 2C is the serpent curling around the eye and downwards in an S-shape with its head biting into the contour of the neck. The geometric pattern filling in the neck is referenced from a pair of animal-shaped brooches from Bjørge. Similar repeating geometric knotwork patterns became popular already in the earlier style B, but are also common on more contemporary picture stones and box brooches from Gotland. There you have it, this has been a brief walkthrough of some essential style 2D characteristics exemplified by the design of a beast head. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.